नमस्कार दोस्तों स्वागत है आप सभी लोगों का मेरे इस नए वीडियो में और आपके अपने यूट्यूब चैनल मज़ेदार रीडिंग में तो दोस्तों क्या आप लोगों को रीडिंग में दिक्कत आती है तो आपकी दिक्कतों को दूर करेगा कौन मैं क्या आप लोगों को रीडिंग बोरिंग लगती है तो आप लोगों को जल्दी से वो बोरिंग चीज़ करके हटाने में मदद कौन करेगा मैं क्या आप लोगों को रीडिंग करने के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा टाइम लग जाता है पाँच छः दिन तीन चार दिन पर एक ही तीन चार दिन में एक ही चैप्टर पर अटके हुए हैं तो उसको एक ही दिन में और 40-50 मिनट के अंदर या मैक्सिमम टू मैक्सिमम एक घंटे के अंदर कंप्लीट कौन कराएगा मैं तो दोस्तों आप लोग बस कमर की पेटी बांध के बैठ जाइए आराम से और मजा लीजिए इस रीडिंग का आपके भी है मैं रीडिंग करूंगा आप लोग सुनेंगे और इसी वीडियो को अगर आप चार पांच बार देख लेंगे दोस्तों तो आप लोगों को मज़ा आ जाएगा और आप लोग देखिएगा उसके बाद आप लोगों को रीडिंग कैसे क्लियर होगा और आप लोग मीनिंग भी अंडरस्टैंड करने लग जाएंगे दोस्तों तो एक बात बता दूँ दोस्त मैं आपको ये चैप्टर समझाता नहीं हूँ और ना ही इस चैप्टर के नोट्स देता हूँ मैं केवल आपके लिए रीडिंग करके देता हूँ तो चलिए बिना किसी विलंब के शुरू करते हैं आपके टाइम को बचाते हुए चलिए द एंड चैप्टर नंबर टू क्लास नाइन्थ हिस्ट्री टेक्स्ट बुक सोशलिज्म इन यूरोप एंड द रशियन रेवोल्यूशन द एज ऑफ सोशल चेंज इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू रेड अबाउट द पावरफुल आइडियाज ऑफ फ्रीडम एंड इक्वेलिटी दैट सर्कुलेटेड इन यूरोप आफ्टर द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन ओपन अप द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ ड्रामेटिक चेंज इन द वे इन विच सोसाइटी वॉज स्ट्रक्चर्ड एज यू हैव रेड Before the 18th century, society was broadly divided into estates and orders, and it was the aristocracy and church which controlled the economic and social power. Suddenly, after the revolution, it seemed possible to change this. In many parts of the world, including Europe and Asia, new new ideas were new ideas about individual rights, who controlled social power, began to be discussed. In India, Raja Ram Mohan Roy and De Rosier talked of the significance of the French Revolution, and many others. debated the ideas of post revolutionary europe the developments in the colonies in turn reshaped these ideas of social societal change reshaped these ideas of societal change not everyone in europe however wanted a complete transformation of society responses varied from those who accepted that some change was necessary but wished for a gradual shift to those who wanted to restructure society radically some were conservatives others were liberals or radicals what did these terms really mean in the context of the time what spread what separated these strands of politics and what linked them together we must remember that these terms do not mean the same thing in all contexts or all or at all times we will look briefly at some of the important political traditions of the 19th century and see how they influenced how they influenced change then we will focus on one historical event in which there was an attempt at a radical transformation of society through the revolution in russia socialism became became one of the most important most one of the most significant and powerful ideas to shape society in the 20th century liberals 1.1 liberals radicals and conservatives one of the groups which looked out, looked to change change society were the liberals liberals wanted a nation which tolerated all religions we should remember that at this time european states usually discriminated in favor of one religion or another britain favored the church of england austria and spain favored the catholic church liberals also opposed the uncontrolled power of dynastic rulers they wanted to safeguard the rights of individuals against governments they argued for a representative elected parliamentary government subject to laws interpreted by a well trained judiciary that was independent of rulers and officials however they were not democrats they did not believe in universal adult franchise that is the right of every citizen to vote they felt men of property mainly should have the vote they also did not want the vote for women in contrast radicals wanted a nation in which government was based on the majority of a country's population many supported women's suffragette movements unlike liberals they opposed the privileges of great land owners and wealthy factory owners they were not against the existence of private property but disliked concentration of property in the hands of a few conservatives were full uh, conservatives were opposed to radicals and liberals after the french revolution however even conservatives had opened their minds to the need of for change to the need for change earlier in the 18th century conservatives had been generally opposed to the idea of change by the 19th century they accepted that some change was inevitable but believed that the past had to be respected and 
change had to be brought about through a new uh, through a slow process such define uh, such differing ideas about social change change clashed during the social and political turmoil that followed the french revolution the various attempts at revolution and national transformation in the 19th century helped define both the limits and potential of these political tendencies industrial society 1.2 industrial society and social change these political trends were signs of a new time it was a time of profound social and economic changes it was a time when new cities came up and new industry industri- and new industrialized regions developed railways expanded in the, and the industrial revolution occurred industrialization brought men women and children to factories work hours were often were often long and wages were poor unemployment was common particularly during times of low demand for industrial goods housing and sanitation were problems since towns were growing rapidly liberals and radicals searched for solution to these issues new words dekhte hain yahan pe suffragette movement a movement to give women the right to vote the uh, the london poor in the mid 19th century as seen by a contemporary uh, ye dikha rakha hai dosto dekh lijiyega almost all industries were the property of individuals liberals and radicals themselves were often property owners and employers having made their wealth through trade or industrial ventures they felt that such efforts should be encouraged that its benefit would be achieved if the workforce in the economy was healthy and citizens were educated opposed to the privileges of opposed to the privileges the old aristocracy had by, had by birth they firmly believed that in the value they firmly believed in the value of individual effort labor and enterprise if freedom of individuals was ensured if the poor could labor and those with capital could operate without restraint they believed that societies would develop would develop many working men and women who wanted changes in the society rallied around liberal and radical groups and parties in the early 19th century some nationalists liberals radic- and radicals wanted revolutions to put an end to the kind of governments established in europe in 1815 in france italy germany and russia they became they became revolutionaries and worked to overthrow existing monarchs nationalists talked of revolutions that would create nations where all citizens would have equal rights after 1815 giuseppe mazzini giuseppe mazzini an italian nationalist conspired with others to achieve this in italy nationalists elsewhere including india read his winnings the coming of socialism to europe perhaps one of the most far fetching visions of how society should be structured was socialism by the mid 19th century in europe socialism was a well body well known body of ideas that that attracted widespread attention socialists were against private property against private uh, socialists were against private property and saw it as the root of all social ills of the time why individuals owned the property that gave employment but the property but the propertyed were concerned only with personal gain and not with the welfare of those who made the property productive so if a, if society as a whole rather than single individuals controlled property more attention would be paid to collective social interests socialists wanted this change and campaigned for it how could a society without property operate what would be the basis of socialist society socialists had different visions of the future some believed that in the idea of cooperatives robert owen a leading english manufacturer sought to build a comp- um, to build a cooperative community called new harmony in indiana indiana usa other socialists felt that cooperatives could not be built on a wide scale only through individual initiative they demanded that government encourage they demanded that governments encourage cooperatives in france for instance louis blanc wanted the government to encourage cooperatives and replace capitalist enterprises these cooperatives were to be associations of people who produced goods together and divided the profits according to the work of, according to the work done by members karl marx and frederick engels added their added other ideas to this body of arguments marx argued that industrial society was capitalists was capitalist 
capitalists owned the capital invested in factories and the profit of capitalists was produced by workers the conditions of workers could not improve as long as this profit was accumulated by private capitalists workers had to overthrow capitalism and the rule of private property marx believed that to free themselves from capitalist explo- exploitation workers had to construct a radically socialist society where all property was socially controlled this would be a communist society he was convinced that workers would triumph in their conflict with capitalists a communist society was the natural society of the future support for socialism by the 1870s socialist ideas spread through europe to coordinate their efforts socialist forms socialists socialists formed an international body namely the second international workers support uh, 1.4 support for socialism yaad rakhna by the 1870 socialist ideas spread through europe to coordinate their idea efforts socialists formed an international body namely the second international workers in england and germany began forming associations to fight for better living and working conditions they set up funds to help members in times of distress and demanded a reduction of working hours and the right to vote in germany these associations worked closely with the social democratic party sd spd and helped it with parliamentary seats Hel- helped it win parliamentary seats by 1905 socialists trade socialists and trade unionists formed a labor party in britain and a socialist party in france however till the 19 until 1914 socialists never succeeded in forming a government in europe represented by strong figures in parliamentary policy uh, parliamentary politics their ideas did shape legislation but governments continued to be run by conservatives liberals and radicals yeah painting this thing dosto ye sab pad lene dosto aap log dhyan se this is a painting of paris commune of 1871 yahan pe the russian revolution in one of the least industrialized of european states this situation was reversed socialists took over the government in russia through the october revolution of 1917 the fall of monarchy in february 1917 and the events of october are normally called the russian revolution how did this come about what were the social and political conditions in russia when the revolution occurred to answer these questions let us look at or uh, at russia a few years before the uh, before the revolution the russian empire 1914 in 1914 tsar nicholas ii and russia and its empire besides In 1914, Tsar Nicholas II ruled Russia and its empire besides the territory around Moscow. The the Russian Empire included current-day Finland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, parts of Poland, Ukraine, and Belarus. It stretched to the Pacific and comprised today's Central Asian states as well as Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. The majority the majority of religion was Russian Orthodox Christianity. which had grown out of the greeks which had grown out of the greek orthodox church but the empire included catholics protestants muslims and buddhists sar nicholas ii in the white hall of the winter palace st petersburg 1900 painted by ernest lipgard jo bhi hai dekh lijiye dosto sar nicholas ii ki picture dikha rakhi hai yahan pe hai na ye kya hai europe in 1914 kaisa tha dekh dekh lijiye dosto europe in 1914 aisa is prakar ka tha theek hai This map shows the Russian Empire and the European countries at war during the First World War. First World War के समय दिखा रखा है ये वाला, ठीक है? चलो. Two point two. Economy and society. At the beginning of the twentieth century, the at the beginning of the twentieth century, the the vast majority of Russia's people were agriculturalists. About eighty five percent of the Russian Empire's population earned their living from agriculture. This population, this pro, uh, this portion. this proportion this proportion was higher than in most european countries for instance in france and germany the proportion was between 40% and 50% in the empire cultivators produced for the market as well as for the for their own needs and russia was a major exporter of grain 
Industry was found in pockets, prominent industrial areas were St. Petersburg and Moscow. Craftsmen undertook much of the production, but large factories existed alongside crafts, alongside craft workshops. Many factories were set up in the 1890s when Russia's railway network was extended. When Russia's railway railway network was extended and foreign investment in industry increased, coal production doubled and iron and steel output quadrupled. By the 1900s, in some areas, factory workers and craftsmen were almost equal in number. Most industry was the private property of industrialists. Government, sur- uh, government supervised large factories to ensure minimum wages and limited hours of work. By factory inspe- but factory inspectors could could not ek minute dosto hmm maaf kijiye dost ek phone aa gaya tha most industry was the private property of industrialists government supervised large factories to ensure minimum wages and limited hours of work but factory inspectors could not prevent rules from rules being broken in craft units and small workshops the working day was sometimes 15 hours and compared with compared with 10 to 2, uh, 10 or 12 hours in factories accommodation very vary, accommodation varied from rooms to dormitories workers were divided w- workers were a divided social group some had strong links with the villages from which they came others had settled in cities permanently workers were divided by skill a metal worker of st petersburg called uh, a metal worker of St. Petersburg recalled metal workers considered themselves aristocrats among their among other workers their occupations demanded more training and skill women made up 31 percent of the factory labor force by 1914 but they were but they were paid less than men between half and three quarters of a men men's wage divisions among workers um, divisions among workers showed them showed themselves in dress and manners too some workers formed associations to help members in times of unemployment or financial hardship but such associations were few workers sleeping in uh, sleeping in bunkers or in a dormitory in a pre-revolutionary russia they slept in shifts and could not keep their families with them Unemployed peasants in pre-war St. Petersburg. Many survived by eating at charitable kitchens and living in poor houses. Despite divisions, workers did unite to strike work, stop work when they disagreed with employers and uh, when they disagreed with employers about dismissals of, or work conditions. These strikes took place frequently in the textile industry during 1896 to 1897 and in the metal industry during 1902. In the countryside, peasants cultivated most of the land, but the nobility, the crown and the orthodox church owned large properties. Like workers, peasants too were divided. They were also deeply religious, but except in few cases, they had no respect for the nobility. Nobles got their power and position through their services to the Tsar, not through the not through the local pro- popularity this was unlike france where this was uh, this was unlike france during the french where during the french revolution in Brittany, peasants respected nobles and fought for them in russia peasants wanted the land of the nobles to be given to them frequently they refused to pay rent and even murdered landlords in 1902 this occurred on a large scale in south russia and in 1905 such incidents took place all over russia Peasants, Russian peasants were divided, where uh, Russian peasants were different from others, other European peasants, and in another way, from uh, from other European peasants in another way, they pooled their land together periodically, and their commune, and their commune mir divided it into divided it according to the needs of the individual families. 2.3 Socialism in Russia. All political parties were illegal in Russia. Before 1914, the Russian the Russian Social Democratic Workers Party was founded in 1898 by socialists who respected Marx's ideas. However, because of government's policy, because of government policing, 
it had to operate as an illegal organization it set up a newspaper mobilized workers and organized strikes some russian socialists felt that the russian peasant custom of dividing land periodically made them natural socialists so peasants not workers would be would be the main force of the revolution and russia could become socialist more quickly than other countries socialists were active in the countryside through the late 19th century they formed the socialist revolutionary party in 1900s in 1900 this party struggled for peasants rights and demanded that land belonging to nobles be transferred to peasants social democrats disagreed with social social democrats disagreed with socialist revolutionaries about peasants lenin felt that lenin felt that peasants were not one united group some were poor and others rich some worked as laborers while others were capitalists who employed workers given this differentiation within them they could not be all they could not all be part of a socialist movement the party the party was divided over the strategy of organization valdimir lenin who led the bolshevik group though uh, um, who led the bolshevik group thought that in a repressive society like tsarist russia the party should be disciplined and should control the number and quality of its members others mensheviks thought that the party should be open to all as in germany 2.4 a turbulent time 19, the 1905 revolution russia was an autocracy unlike other european rulers even at the beginning of the 20th century the tsar was not subject to parliament liberals in russia campaigned to end this state of affairs together with the together with the socialist democrats and socialist revolutionaries they worked with peasants and workers during the revolution of 1905 to demand a constitution they were supported in the empire by nationalists in poland for instance and in muslim dominated areas by jadidists who wanted modernized islam to lead their societies the year 1904 was particularly bad one for russian workers prices of essential goods rose to rose so quickly that real wages declined by 20% the membership of workers association rose dramatically when four members of assembly of the assembly of russian workers which had been formed in 1904 were dismissed at the putilov iron works there was a call for industrial action over the next few days over 1 lakh 10000 workers in st petersburg went on strike demanding a reduction in the working day to 8 hours and increase in wages and improvement in working conditions when the procession of workers led by father gepon reached the winter palace it it was attacked by the police and cossacks and the cossacks the 100 over 100 workers were killed and about 300 wounded the incident known as bloody sunday started a series of events that became known as the that became known as the 1905 revolution strikes took place all over the country and universities closed down when student bodies staged uh, when student body uh, when student bodies staged walkouts complaining about the lack of civil liberties lawyers doctors and lawyers doctors engineers and other middle class workers established the union of unions and demanded a constituent assembly during the 1905 revolution the tsar allowed the creation of an elected conservative parliament or duma for a brief while during the uh, for a brief while during the revolution there existed a large number of trade unions and factory committees made up of factory workers after the after 1905 most communities most uh, after 1905 most committees and uniforms and um, sorry after 1905 most committees and unions worked unofficially since they were declared illegal Se- severe restrictions were placed on political activity the tsar dismissed the first duma within 75 days and reelected the second duma within 3 months he did not want any questioning of his authority or any re- reduction in his power he changed the voting laws and packed the third duma with conserv- with the conservative politicians liberals and revolutionaries were kept out the first uh, 2.5 the first world war and the russian empire in 19, 1914 war 
broke out between two European alliances, Germany, Austria and Turkey, the Central Powers and France, Britain, Britain and Russia, the, uh, later Italy and Romania. Each uh, new word, Jadidists, Muslim reformers within the Russian Empire, real wage reflects the quantities of goods which the wage will actually buy. Each country had a global empire and the war was fought outside Europe as well as in Europe as well as in Europe. This was the first world war. In Russia, the war was initially popular and people rallied around Tsar Nicholas II. As the war continued through the continued continued, though the Tsar refused to consult the main parties in the Duma. Support wore thin. Anti German sentiments ran high as can be seen in the renaming of St. Petersburg, a German name as Petrograd. The Tsarina Alexandria, Alexandra's German origins and poor advisors, especially a monk called Rasputin, made the autocracy unpopular. The First World War on the Eastern Front differed from that on the Western Front. In the West, armies fought from trenches along eastern france in the east armies moved to moved a great uh, in east in the east armies moved a good deal and fought battles leaving large casualties defeats were shocking and, and demoralizing russia's armies lost badly in germany and austria between 1914 and 1916 there were over 7 million uh, 7 million casualties by 1917 as they retreated the russian army destroyed crops and buildings to prevent the enemy from being able to live off the land. The destruction of crops and buildings led to over 3 million refugees in India. The situation discredited the government and the Tsar. Soldiers did not wish to find uh, soldiers did not wish to fight such a war. The war also had severe impact on industry. Russia's own industries were few in number and the country was cut off from other suppliers of industrial goods by German control of the Baltic Sea. Industrial equipment disintegrated more rapidly in Russia than elsewhere in Europe. By 1916, railway lines began to break down. Able bodies, able bodied men were called up to the war. As a result, there were labor shortages and small workshops producing essentials were shut down. Large supplies of grain were sent to feed the army. For the people in the cities, bread and flour became scarce. By the winter of 1916, riots at bread shops were common. The Number 3. The February Revolution in Petrograd In the winter of 1917, conditions in the capital Petrograd were grim. The layout of the city remained, uh, seemed to emphasize, to emphasize the divisions among its people. The workers, quarters and factories were located on the right bank of the river Neva. On the left bank were the fashionable areas, the winter palace and official buildings, including the place, including the palace where the Duma met. In February 1917, food shortages were deeply felt in the workers' quarters. The winters were, uh, the winters was very cold. There had been exceptional frost and heavy snow. Parliamentarians wishing to preserve elected represent, elected government were opposed to the Tsar's desire to dissolve the Duma. On 22nd February, a lockout took place at a factory on the right bank. The next day, the work, the next day, workers in 50 factories called a strike in sympathy. In many factories, women led the way to the women led the way to strikes. This came to be called the International Women's Day. Demonstrating workers crossed from the factory quarters to the central of the capital, the Nevsky. Prospect. At this stage, no political party was actively organizing the movement. As the fashionable quarters and official buildings were surrounded by workers, the government imposed a curfew. Demonstrators dispersed by the evening, but they came back on the 24th and 25th. The government called out the cavalry and police to keep an eye on them. On Sunday, 20, on Sunday 25th February, the government suspended the Duma. Politicians spoke out against the measure. Demonstrators resumed in force to the streets of the left bank on the 26th. On the 27th, the police headquarters were ransacked. The streets thronged with people 
raising slogans about bread wages better hours and democracy the government tried to control the situation and call and called out the cavalry once again however the cavalry refused to fire on them on the demonstrators uh, an officer was shot at the barracks of a regiment and three other regiments mutinied vot- uh, voting to join the striking workers by that evening soldiers ye dekhi petrograd mein soviet meeting dikha rakha hai duma ka the petrograd soviet meeting in duma petrograd so petrograd soviet meeting in duma february 1917 yahan dikha rakha hai by that evening petrograd soviet meeting in the duma february 1917 by that meeting by that evening soldiers and striking workers had gathered to form a soviet or council in the same building as the duma this was the petrograd soviet the very next day a delegation went to see the tsar military commanders advised him to abdicate he followed their advice and abdicated on 2nd march soviet leaders and duma leaders formed a provincial government to run the country russia's future would be decided by a constituent assembly elected on the basis of universal adult suffrage petrograd had led the february revolution that brought down the monarchy in february 17 february 1917 that brought down the monarchy in february 1917 yeah women were ke bare mein dikha rakha hai dosto women in february revolution aap log dekh sakte hain so ye sab thoda zyada detail ka cheez hota hai to aap utna detail zarurat nahi hai bhai exam mein itna hi pad lo kafi hai ncert 3.1 after february army officials land owners and industrialists were influential in the provincial government but the liberals as well as socialists among them worked towards an elected government restrictions on public meetings and associations were remo- removed so soviets like the petrograd soviet were set up everywhere though no common system of election was followed in april 1917 the bolshevik leader vladimir lenin returned to the uh, returned to russia from his exile he and he and the bolsheviks had opposed the war since 1914 now he felt it was time for soviets to take over power he declared that the war be continued uh, he declared that the war be brought to a close land be transferred to the peasants and banks be nationalized these three demands were lenin's april thesis lenin's april thesis he also argued that bolshevik party rename itself the communist party to indicate its new radical aims most others in the bolshevik uh, in the bolshevik party initially uh, initially most others in the bolshevik party were initially surprised by the april thesis they thought that the time was not yet right for a socialist revolution and the provincial government to need uh, provincial government needed to be supported and the time was that the time was not ripe yet uh, not yet ripe for a socialist revolution and the provincial government needed to be supported but the developments of the subsequent m- months changed their attitude through the summer the workers movement spread in industrial areas factory committees were formed which began questioning the way industrialists ran their factories trade unions grew in number social uh, soldiers committed were soldiers commit uh, soldiers committees were formed in the army in june about 500 soviet sent representatives to an all russian congress of soviets as the provincial government saw its power reduce and bolshevik influence grow it decided to take stern measures against the spreading discontent it resisted attempts by workers to run factories and began arresting leaders popular demonstrations staged by the bolsheviks in july 1917 were sternly repressed many bolshevik leaders had to go into hiding or flee meanwhile in the countryside peasants and their socialist revolutionary leaders passed for a revol- uh, passed for a redistribution of land land committees were formed to handle this encouraged by the socialist revolutionaries peasants seized land between july and september 1917 a bolshevik image of lenin addressing workers in april 1917 ye dekhiye Meanwhile in the countryside peasants and their socialist revolutionary uh, leaders passed for a redistribution of land committees were formed to handle this land committees were formed to handle this encouraged by the socialist revolutionaries peasants 
seized land between July and September 1917. The July Days. Approved Bolshevik demonstration on 17 July 1917 being fired upon by the army. 3.2 The Revolution of October 1917 As the conflict between the provincial government and the Bolsheviks grew, Lenin feared the provincial government would set up a dictatorship. In September, he began discussions for an uprising against the government. Bolshevik supporters in the army, Soviets and factories were brought together. On 16 October 1917, Lenin persuaded the Petrograd Soviet and the Bolshevik party to agree to a socialist seizure of power. A military revolutionary committee was appointed by the Soviet leader Leon Trotsky, Leon Trotsky under Soviet appointed by the Soviet under Leon Trotsky to organize the seizure. The date of the event was kept a secret. Date of the Russian Revolution Box 2. Russia followed the Julian calendar until 1st February 1918. The, then, the country then changed to the Gregorian calendar which is followed everywhere today. The Gregorian dates are 13 days ahead of the Julian dates. So by our calendar the February revolution took place on 12th March and the October revolution took place on 7th November. Some important dates, देख लीजिए दोस्तों यहाँ पे 1850s से लेकर 1880s तक debates over the socialism in Russia, 1898 formation of the Russian social Russian Social Democratic Workers Party, 1905 the Bloody Sunday and the revolution of 1905, 1917 second March abolition of the Tsar, 24th October Bolshevik uprising in Petrograd, 1918 to 1920 the civil war, 1919 for, uh, formation of Comintern. And 1929 beginning of collectivization. The uprising began on 24th October. Sensing trouble, Prime Minister Kerensky had left the city to, sum uh, to summon troops. At dawn, military men loyal to the government seized the buildings of two Bolshevik newspapers. Pro government troops were sent to take over telephone and telegraph offices and protect the Winter Palace. In a swift, re in a swift re response, the Military Revolutionary Committee ordered its supporters to seize government offices and arrest ministers. Late in the day, the ship Aurora shelled the Winter Palace. Other vessels sailed down the Neva and took various took over various military points. By nightfall, the city was under the committee's control and the ministers had surrendered. At a meeting of the All-Russian Congress of Soviets in Petrograd, the majority approved the Bolshevik action. Uprising took place in other cities. There was heavy fighting, especially in Moscow, but they but by the, but by December the Bolsheviks controlled the Moscow Petrograd area. Here we can see figure 11. Lenin left and Trotsky right with workers at Petrograd. Here Lenin left and Trotsky right. Number four. What changed after October? The Bolsheviks were totally opposed to private property. Most industries, most industry and brand, banks were nationalized in no, November 1917. This meant that the government took over ownership and management. Land was declared social pro property and peasants were allowed to seize the land of the nobility. In cities, Bolsheviks enforced the partition of large houses according to family re requirements. They banned the use of old titles of aristocracy to assert the change. New reforms were designed for the army and officials following a clothing competition organized in 1918. When the Soviet had Budionka, Budionka was chosen, the Bolshevik, was, the Bolshevik party was renamed the Russian Communist Party Bolshevik. In November 1917, the Bolsheviks conducted the elections to the Constituent Assembly but they failed to gain majority support. In January 1918, the assembly rejected Bolshevik measures and Lenin dismissed the assembly. He thought all Russian Congress of Soviets was more democratic than an assembly elected in uncertain conditions. In March 1918, despite opposition by their political allies, Bolsheviks made peace with Germany at Brest-Litovsk. In the years that followed, the Bolsheviks became the only party to participate in the elections to the All-Russian Congress of Soviets. 
which became the parliament of the country. Russia became one party state. Trade unions were kept under party control. The secret police called the Cheka first and later OGPU and NKVD punished those who criticized the Bolsheviks. Many young writers and artists rallied to the party because it stood for socialism and for change. After October 1917, this led to experiments in the arts and architecture. A soldier wearing Soviet hat, Budion, Budiono Vuka, May demonstration in Moscow in 1918. Many young writers and artists rallied to the party because it stood for socialism and for change. After October 1917, this led to experiments in the arts and architecture. But, may, but many became disillusioned because of the censorship the party encouraged. The civil war. When the Bolsheviks ordered land redistribution, the Russian army began to break up. So, soldiers, mostly peasants, wished to go home for the redistribution and destroyed. And uh, uh, mostly peasants wished to go home for the redistribution and deserted. Non Bolshevik and deserted. Non Bolshevik socialists, liberals, and supporters of autocracy condemned. The Bolshevik uprising. Their leaders moved to South Russia and organized troops to fight the Bolsheviks, the Reds. During 1980s and during 1918 and 1919, the Greens, Socialist Revolutionaries, and Whites, pro tsarists controlled most of the Russian Empire. They were backed by French, American, British, and Japanese troops. All those forces who were worried at the growth of socialism in Russia. As these troops and the Bolsheviks fought a civil war, looting, banditry and feminine became common. Supporters of private property among whites took harsh uh, took harsh, harsh steps and peasants who had seized land. Such actions led to the loss of popular support for the non-Bolsheviks. By January 1920, the Bolsheviks controlled most of the former Russian Empire. They succeeded due to the cooperation with non-Russian nationalists and Muslim and Muslim Jadidists. Cooperation did not work where the where Russian colonists themselves turned Bolshevik. In Kiva, in Central Asia, Bolshevik colonists brutally massacred local nationalists in the name of defending socialism. In this situation, many were confused about what was about uh, many were confused about what the Bolshevik government represented. Party partly to remedy this most non-Russian nationalists were given political autonomy in the Soviet Union, USSR, the state of the Bolshe the state the Bolsheviks created from the Russian Empire in, 19 in December 1922. But since this was combined with unpopular policies that the Bolsheviks forced the government, the local government to follow, like the harsh discouragement of nomadism, attempts to win over different nationalists were only partly successful. New words, autonomy, the right to govern themselves, nomadism, lifestyle of those who do not live in pl one place but move from area to area to earn their living. Source, you can read it, friends, you don't have to worry about it. From an exam perspective, if you think out of curiosity, out of your personal interest, you can manage it, friends. If you think out of your personal interest, you don't have to worry about it. But from an exam perspective, it's not important. From an exam perspective, you can learn it here, I'll tell you. 4.2. Making a Socialist Society During the Civil War, the Bolsheviks kept industries and banks normalized, na kept the industries and banks nationalized. They permitted peasants to cultivate the land that had been socialized. Bolsheviks used confiscated Bolsheviks used confiscated land to demonstrate what collective work could be. A process of centralized planning was introduced. Officials assessed how the economy could work and set targets for a five year period on the basis of on this basis they made the five year plans the government fixed all prices to promote industrial growth during the first two plans 1927 to 1932 and 1933 to 1938 centralized planning centralized planning led to economic growth 
इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीज बिटवीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड नाइनटीन थर्टी थ्री बाय हंड्रेड परसेंट इन द केस ऑफ ऑयल कोल एंड स्टील न्यू फैक्ट्री सिटीज न्यू फैक्ट्री सिटीज केम इन टू बींग न्यू फैक्ट्री सिटीज केम इन टू बींग हाउ एवर हाउ एवर रैपिड कंस्ट्रक्शन लेड टू पुअर वर्किंग कंडीशन इन द सिटी ऑफ मैग्नी टोगोर्क इन द सिटी ऑफ मैग्नी टोगोर्स द मैग्नीटो गोर्स आई थिंक आई एम प्रोनाउंसिंग इट राइट देख लीजिए दोस्तों ठीक है द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ स्टील प्लांट वॉज अचीव्ड इन थ्री ईयर्स वर्कर्स लिव्ड हार्ड लाइफ एंड द रिजल्ट वॉज फाइव फिफ्टी स्टॉपेजेस ऑफ वर्क इन द फर्स्ट ईयर अलोन इन लिविंग क्वार्टर्स इन द विंटर टाइम एट फोर्टी डिग्रीज बिलो पीपल हैड टू क्लाइंब डाउन फ्रॉम द फोर्थ फ्लोर फोर्थ फ्लोर एंड डैश अक्रॉस द स्ट्रीट इन ऑर्डर टू गो टू द टॉयलेट an extend an extended schooling stis, uh, and extended schooling system developed and and arrangements were made for factory workers and peasants to ens- to enter universities crèches were established in factories for the children of women workers cheap public health care was provided model living quarters were set up for workers the effect of all this was uneven दो सिंस गवर्नमेंट रिसोर्सेज आर लिमिटेड वेर लिमिट दो सिंस गवर्नमेंट रिसोर्सेज वेर लिमिटेड फैक्ट्रीज केम टू बी सीन एज अ सिम्बल ऑफ सोशलिज्म दिस वॉज स्टेट द स्मोक फ्रॉम द चिमनीज इज द ब्रीदिंग ऑफ सोवियत रशिया यहाँ दिखा रखा है चिल्ड्रन एट स्कूल इन सोवियत रशिया इन द नाइनटीन थर्टीज यहाँ दिखा रखा है अ चाइल्ड इन मैग्नेटो गोर्स ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट फाइव ईयर प्लान ही इज वर्किंग फॉर सोवियत रशिया Factory dining hall in the 1930s. ये सोर्स वगैरह आप लोग देख लें इसको Stalinism and collectivization. The period of the early planned economy was linked to the disasters of the collectivization of agriculture. By 1927 to 1928, the towns in Soviet Russia were facing an acute problem of grain supplies. This government, the government fixed prices at which grain must be sold, but the peasants refused to sell their grain to the government buyers at these prices. Stalin, who headed the party after the death of Lenin, introduced firm emergency measures. He believed that rich peasants and traders in the countryside were holding stocks in the hope of higher prices. Speculation had to be stopped and supplies confiscated. In 1928, party members told the grain-producing areas, supervising enforced. grain collections and raiding kulaks the name for well to do peasants a shortages as shortages continued the decision was taken to collectivize farms it argued that grain st- shortages were partly due to the small size of holdings after 1917 the land had been given over to peasants these small sized peasants peasant farms could not be modernized to develop modern farms and run them industrial uh, and run them along industrial lines with machinery it was needed it was necessary to eliminate kulaks take away land from peasants and establish state controlled large farms a poster during collectivization yahan dikha rakha hai dosto it states we shall strike at the kulak working for the decrease in cultivation working for the decrease in cultivation what uh, what followed was stalin's collectivization program from 1929 the party forced all peasants to cultivate in collective farms kolkhoz the bulk of land and implements were transferred to the ownership of, of uh, to the ownership of collective farms peasants worked on the land and the kolkhoz and the kolkhoz pro, uh, profit was shared enraged peasants registered the authorities and destroyed their livestock between 1929 and 1931 the number of cattle fe- fell by one third those who registered collectiv- collectivization were severely punished many were deported and exiled as they registered collectivization many peasants argued that they were not rich and they were not against socialism this merely did not want to they merely did not want to work in collective farms for a variety of reasons stalin's government allowed some independent collectivization collectivation cultivation so, stalin's Stalin's government allowed some independent cultivation, but treated such cultivators unsymp- unsympathetically. 
In spite of collectivization, production did not increase immediately. In fact, the bad the bad harvests of 1930 to 1933 led to one of most devastating famines in Soviet history when over 4 million died. New word: deported, forcibly removed from one's own country, exiled, forced to live away from one's own country. Peasant women being gathered to work in work in the large collective farms. Source वगैरह दे रखा है दोस्तों. Many within the party criticized the confusion in industrial production under the planned economy and the consequences of collectivization. Stalin and his sympathizers charged these critics with conspiracy against socialism. Accusations were made throughout the country, and by 1939, over two million were in prison and labor camps. Most were innocent of the crimes, but no one spoke for them. A large number were forced to make false confessions under torture. and were executed several among them were talented professionals our last wala topic hai shayad se ye the global influence of the russian revolution and the ussr number 5 existing socialist parties in europe did not wholly approve of the way the bolsheviks took power and kept it however the possibility of a workers state fires fired people people's imagination across the world In many countries, communist parties were formed. Like the Communist Party of Great Britain, the Bolsheviks encouraged colonial colonial peoples to fo- to follow their experiment. Many non-Russians from outside the USSR participated in the Conference of the Peoples of the East, 1920, and the Bolshevik founded Comintern, an international union of pro-Bolshevik socialist parties. Some received education in the USSR. in the ussr's communi- communist university of the workers of the east by the time of the outbreak of the second world war the ussr had given social had given socialism a global face and would stature and world stature world stature the yet by the 1950s it was acknowledged within the country that the style of government in the ussr was not keeping in with was not in keeping with the ideals of the russian revolution in the world socialist movement too it was recognized that all was not well in the soviet union a backward country had become a great power its industries and agriculture had developed and the poor were being fed but it denied the essential freedoms to its citizen citizens and carried out its developmental projects through repressive policies by the end of the 20th century the international reputation of the ussr as a socialist country had declined though it was recognized that socialist ideals still enjoyed respect among its people but in each country the ideas of socialism were rethought in a variety of different ways to party kijiye dosto iske sath ye chapter ho jata hai complete dosto aap logo bahut bahut शुक्रिया और आप लोगों को बहुत बड़ी बधाई तक क्योंकि आप अंत तक बने रहे दोस्तों इसी प्रकार से अगर आप हर वीडियो में बने रहेंगे तो क्या होगा ना कि आपका एन का रीडिंग यूँ हो जाएगा यूँ एक घंटे के अंदर अंदर आराम से और आप सोचिए जिस चैप्टर को रीडिंग करने के लिए आप लोग कितने देर लगा देते थे उसका मैंने रीडिंग करा दिया आपको एक घंटे के अंदर और अगर आप फास्ट अगर आप फास्ट रीडिंग करेंगे करना चाहते हैं तो आप इसको 1.5 पॉइंट की स्पीड पर लगाए देखिए फास्ट हो जाएगा लेकिन पहले मैं आपसे बोलूँगा कि पहले जो नॉर्मल स्पीड है उसी पे देखें या फिर जिस पर जिस पे आपको कंफर्टेबल लगे उसी पे देखें उसके बाद आप स्पीड जरूर बढ़ाएं ताकि जल्दी जल्दी हो सके किसी भी चीज़ को गधों की तरह नहीं करना है ना भाई एक बार नॉर्मल पर देख लिया तो दूसरी बार भी नॉर्मल पर थोड़ी देखेंगे दूसरी बार वन पॉइंट टू तीसरी बार वन पॉइंट फाइव चौथी बार वन पॉइंट और पाँचवीं बार इंटू टू देखेंगे समझ रहे दोस्तों तो इसी प्रकार से अपने आपको अपग्रेड करते रहना दोस्तों चार पाँच बार वीडियोज़ देखिए दिमाग में अच्छा बजाएगा चैप्टर आप लोगों को अगर पसंद आ रहा है मेरा वीडियोस और लग रहा है कि मैं आपकी हेल्प कर पा रहा हूँ तो आप लोग लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब जरूर करें ठीक है इससे मेरा भी उत्साह बढ़ता है और मिलते हैं दोस्तों आपसे नेक्स्ट वीडियो में थैंक यू नाइस डे मेरे बेस्ट विश हमेशा आपके साथ रहते हैं चलिए थैंक यू नाइस डे बाय बाय